like real woman makeup. I use like clown makeup. How do you blend in? I'm really known for working with the Kardashians and Nicki Minaj. It's a mask, you know? In this episode of Style and Error, we're highlighting and shading to find out how families that paint together stay together. We all agree that we're family, so. Hell yeah. Whoa, whoa. Oh. I think we're getting a ride. Uh, what is this thing? What's up, you guys? We're out here in Thornville, Ohio, and it is the second day of the Gathering of the Juggalos. We've been filming a documentary for Broadly for the last few days. Uh, today is different, though, because we have one mission, and that's to find out what is behind the paint. Juggalos are diehard fans of Detroit's insane clown posse and consider themselves an alternative family. Although many choose not to, some fans paint their faces to show their dedication to the fam. What are you using to paint? Uh, face paint as well as just some random eyeshadows and I just kind of use whatever's in my hand or close at the time. I can't say I specifically choose anything or prefer anything. It's just make what you make with what you got. The particular paint that we have on right now is acrylic. This will last longer, so it'll but actually But it also lets your face breathe. While each Juggalo creates their own signature look, it's their face paint and love of Fago that bring them together as one big, to borrow a Juggalo phrase, family. Whoop, whoop. A whoop, whoop. You could be the nastiest convict out of prison. It wouldn't matter. Anybody can be a Juggalo. It builds a family that I, I don't think most people could understand. Right. Clowns put on face paint to cover up who they are. Juggalos put on face paint to show who we are. Gathering with the Juggalos and all their titty-flashing, face-painted glory got me thinking. How else do people use makeup to set themselves and their communities apart? Hi guys, today I'm going to be filming a highlighting and contouring tutorial, and I hope you guys enjoy it. And I'll drag this right on down the nose to give the appearance of a straight, perfect nose. Highlight and contour. No one knows more about makeup than drag queens, so I headed straight to the experts. Hi! My name's Alaska, what's yours? I think this will be really enlightening because I really want to see how you do your makeup too. Oh, hello, my name's Willow. I do drag too. Who better than the stars of RuPaul's Drag Race to give me a crash course on one of drag culture's greatest contributions to the face, contouring. A booger would be a, well, it's a derogatory term for a beginner drag queen. This booger's about to get her face beat and go from looking busted to looking ready for the gods. So if you don't know what contouring is, it's basically like using highlights and shadows to change the shapes and the way light hits your face so you can make yourself like, you know, prettier. I like to do my eyes first. You do? Uh-huh. I do my foundation first. We're so opposite land. My style inspirations are definitely um, Divine and Britney Spears. Well, Divine's makeup is like she had the like shaved back head and the eyebrows that went really high. <laughs> I'd say my inspiration is Eileen Warnos, if she got acquitted, got a book deal, got some coin. <laughs> That's my inspiration. I have three go-to words. Lux, clown, whore. What do you guys think I should work on first? Long bangs, heavy powder, head down, walk fast, no spook. <laughs> In English, please. No, what you do first. You're perfect, you're beautiful. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is like a base coat. I'm about to do my beige rainbow. Step two, we're gonna do highlights, okay? Highlight. Think transvestite, hooker, casino, raccoon. This is for shadow. I'm gonna spray on. A little foundation, just to marry it all together. So then you go and you just blend all of what you did. So that's pretty much it as far as contouring goes. Okay, and I'm excited to try. Yellow or red? Here we go, I'm finishing. I would do this one for a contour color. Armed with most of the tools that I need to succeed, there's one more thing I have to have to become a queen of contouring my own YouTube makeup tutorial. Some technical skill would help too. Neutral, highlight, yeah. contour. So, here we go. Highlights, top of the forehead, ball of the nose. Now we are going to 
I assume darken. Classic booger behavior would be like, oh, well, bad nose contouring is, bad contour. is the worst. Ooh, line right here of just different makeup. Like, I'm gonna create my jaw right there. Deleting fat face. Go under and beat the face. So you get your face beat. You beat a mug. You get your mug beaten with makeup. Beating it. Busted, dusted, and polished. Busted means not good. Ooh, booger. Dusted means really good. Yeah, like painted the house. And polished means like, you're like professional. Boots. All right, so T minus uh, 10 seconds until I look like Kim or Chloe or Kylie or the other one. <laughs> <laughs> makeup, what is that? What is the point of makeup? Why, it covers up everything. It covers up how, how horrendous and ugly you are inside. Makeup for me is war paint. I put it on and I could be fucking Churchill or Patton. I could conquer the world in it, I feel like. It's like it my, is, it's, it's like, like my armor. Cape. I'm a, it's my superhero. It's my it unit totally is. Yeah. Thank you guys for sitting through my first YouTube makeup contouring tutorial. Signing off. What's up, ladies? Oh, oh gosh, you're contoured for the dawn. You think so? Can, uh, right, yeah. Can I just hit, come here. Yes. Your makeup is terrible. With our transformations complete, I headed downtown to freak out my office with my bold new look. There's an article floating around on the internet that says, women who wear makeup in the workplace are viewed as more powerful. Hey, what are you guys working on? <laughs> Is this your contouring look? Wow, uh, from far away, I bet you look real wonderful. Congratulations. Terrible, but I love you anyway. While contouring is usually best left to drag professionals, one group of women have used this technique to carve their own faces and their pop culture identities. America's first family, the Kardashians. Her makeup is actually beautiful. Oh, she got a big butt too. With over one million followers, Joy Spinelli, the Kardashians makeup artist, is serious business. Oh, she does Chloe too, I love Chloe. What are you supposed to wear to meet someone who hangs out with the Kardashians on the daily? I have too many weed shirts. Dressed like I'm ready to launch into stardom, I travel to meet a member of the Kardashians' inner circle and find out how Chris, Kim, Courtney, Chloe, Kendall, and Kylie have turned contouring into a word that starts with a K. I've been doing makeup for 17 years makes me sound so old. Like, everything that I do is very strategic, and it's all a strategy. Hey! Hi. I'm Steak. Nice to meet you. You're a hugger. Joyce's aesthetics are so deliberate, she insisted we cover this interview in black and white. Welcome. Thank you. Pretty smart. OK. You're art directing this shoot. Um, I think we're in black and white right now, right? We're in black and white. Um, just make me look younger. I feel like black and white just takes care of um, me. So I've spent the last day or so lurking your Instagram, but for those of us who don't know who you are, uh, can you tell us a little about yourself? I'm really known for working with the Kardashians and Nicki Minaj, and it is what I call transformational makeup. Mm -hmm. Contouring's all about the nose, right? Yeah. Everywhere, it's like war paint. Every one of my clients has had a story ran that they had a nose job after I contour the shit out of their face. I mean, to be honest, I do contour my double chin. Let's be real. I will only let you shoot in black and white. Like, I'm, I'm a psycho lunatic. Well, Grace Jones is like my idol. So I don't know if you're familiar, but um, I've just taken notes on drag anything and everything. And for me, that's like where I first saw transformational makeup. And then I remember uh, the first time that I saw the Munsters. And that's like where it all started for me. Really? Mm -hmm. Why? Because I was the like, Munsters? what is this shit? Like, yeah. this is so crazy. It's like a world I've never even seen before. And like, you know, I really wanted to um, do sculpture. 
And then everyone's obsessed with like all the fake looking lips. So this is how we do it. We put brown around. It looks really crazy, even more so right this second. I was die hard blood and guts and animatronics, anything. And so I did a lot of low budget horror films, you know, getting paid $50 a day for an 18 hour a day. Clearly I sold out. I started doing beauty because I was like, fuck this. I need more money, no, I'm just kidding. But, um, but really, that's the truth. So I'm giving you the white out because that's what everyone is so fucking obsessed with. And what is that? What does that mean? Like white under your like eyes. Uh, yeah. This is like Kim Kardashian 2006 and no one will let it go. Not even her sometimes. It's not just powder and chapstick. It's right. like really building a look on a face and changing it from day to day. It's kind of, I don't know, to me it's fun. You mentioned sculpture being a big part of like your original passion. Do you think yeah. that's sort of what you're doing with this makeup? Yeah, like, absolutely. Sculpting? It's a part of making a character or if we're doing a shoot that day. It's just, everything is an illusion, right, in all of this, and like that's what I love and live for. This is about the plastic world. Does she look like a cousin of the Kardashians? Oh my oh. god. <laughs> Whoa. When it's really close up, it, it feels really overwhelming, but from here it feels cool. So we just finished with Joyce, and now I'm about to hit my regular bar with my regular people and see if I fit in or stand way far out from my normal friend group. Hey, guys. Hey. hey. Wow. Uh, I just got my makeup done. <laughs> oh, you're a whole new woman. Look at you. With my brand new face, so, I'm barely recognizable to my friends. It's very scary. <laughs> but while I stick out like a contoured thumb with them, I now blend into one of the most exclusive cosmetic tribes in America. Makeup, or lack of it, can be a form of communication, a not-so-secret secret handshake, and a sign of defiance and expression that represents an entire community. So, how do you blend in?